Souls that is part of a time, a chapter of great change, energetic change, change on earth, change for humanity. Now I have a very important question to ask you surrounding all of the events that are going on boiling up in our nation's capital this week, and that is, are you freaking out yet? Did you answer yes to that question? If you did, then stay tuned for today's discussion. Today's discussion is all about a process called matching. This has to do with energy, and it has to do with the energy of what's going on over there in Washington right now, and all of the upheaval, everything that we really don't want to see. It's a train wreck, it's a car wreck, right? So let me ask you this. When you're driving down the highway, and you come up to a car wreck, are you one of those people who can't wait to see what happened? No matter how gnarly, how grisly, do you have to think about it, process? Do you ever um, go to look later and see you know, who the people were, what the story was? Do you get wrapped up in someone else's train wreck? Because let me tell you, what's going on in Washington right now is not my train wreck. <laughs> And you get to choose if it's yours or not. So let's begin with this process called matching. The first thing to discern is this. How much of your time and energy have you given to these events? How much have you watched it on the computer or on the TV, listened to it on the news? How much have you thought about it in your head, more important than any of the others? And how much do you discuss it? How much do you perpetuate it energetically in the world by verbalizing it and turning it into actual frequency in the world? So just just uh, be real honest with yourself and answer that question. Has it been a lot of time you've been spending there in the last couple of days? <sighs> Don't be ashamed, it's a human trait. Now, let me ask you this. Have you been spending an equal amount of time conjuring the opposite within you? And what that doesn't mean is distracting yourself from what's going on. So when we watch the news and we know all of this upheaval is going on, it's very stressful, it's very tense. We get engaged in it and our nervous system gets engaged and then we say, oh, I need a break. I need a drink. I need a hot bath. I need to dive into this now. I need to watch Netflix for five hours. That, my dear friends, is called checking out. It's very different. In fact, it's the opposite of checking in. And what I'm asking you to do right now is use your time to check in and create the emotional atmosphere, the energetic atmosphere, the very vibrational frequency that is the opposite of what's horrifying you that's going on over there in our nation's capital right now. Create the opposite of that energy, that frequency, that vibration within you. This is matching. This is when we create a balance. And guess what? What's going on over there right now is pretty intense. It's what we in the spiritual world call dense. That is some dense stuff happening right now. It's heavy, it's gross, it's sticky. But I'm gonna go over here and say, well, to the degree that that is dense, I am going to now raise my frequency to be that of joy and gratitude and beauty. So what is this asking of you to do? And why should you do it? Why should you care? Care because this affects your central nervous system, all of that, 
goes directly into your mind. You watch it. It goes into your emotions. You feel it. It goes into your central nervous system. And guess where that goes? That goes right to your heart, your physical heart. Your em it goes to your emotional heart, which keeps the cycle going. But it goes to your physical heart. We don't want to become one of those statistics in America where cardiovascular uh, stress is the number one cause of death. No, we're not one of those. We're one of those who understands that. We observe, we discern, and we say, well, that's not what I'm going to be participating in, in my energy, in my heart. And we go within. And so, where do you find this peace? Meditation? Guided meditations? Beautiful, soothing music. Not the emotional kind. Maybe the kind with no words at all. Uplifting kind. Nature. The sunset, the sunrise. It's there for you every day to support you. It's important now more than ever that humanity, individuals, learn to go within, to that place of peace, of presence within, and learn to raise frequency to a state of joy and love and peace within, so that you are matching the train wreck with an equal and greater energy called love. That's it for my time. That's my seven minutes today. Thank you so much for being with me. Stay the course, do the work. Um, if you are in need of uh, being led into these peaceful moments, you can go to my YouTube channel at ShellyReef.com and you will find there a myriad of meditations, all with different subjects. Each one is, is uh, completely unique and you'll find one there for you. So, uh, Thank you so much for being here with me. Stay the course, do the work, be the love, be your own highest vibrational self. Awesome you. Love you. Mwah.